Hey everybody, Chad here from Crabtree's Honeybee. Got this swarm trap set up on top of a fence post. And uh, about a week ago, we had a uh, little swarm move into it. So they look like they set up shop. So I'm gonna transfer them to this new hive. And when I get them transferred, I'm gonna set the hive on top of it. When I get them transferred, I'm gonna set this hive on top of this trap hive here and then when it gets about dark this evening I'm gonna move them um, let's get into it these old hives I ain't pulled the frames out of these old hives in a long time they really propolized in here I know you can't see me very well, but what I'm doing is hoping these pulling the frame. I don't know if you can see this, but, <laughs> but I'm on a ladder trying to work with honeybees, film it, and I got a bull pulling at my pants leg with his mouth. But that's all right. Oh yeah, I said a week and a half ago, is when this a week or a week and a half goes what I said, but they've got cat brew. They've been in here longer. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that. They got eggs, cat brew. And this bull is going to pull me off his ladder in a minute. <laughs> Still going. Damn. Pyrenees came down here to the road to what we were doing. This is the last frame of bees, and uh, it's a good thing because this is the fifth frame, 
And I've only brought a five frame loop down here. I'm gonna put these empty foundation frames back in this trap hub. Deb, come here. Come here. Now what I intend for when the field bees come back in this evening, they'll smell their brood up in this top hive, and then they'll make their way back up in here with a brood and a nest and the queen is. All right, sorry about the uh, video uh, with the swarm trap. Uh, I was down in that direction at the corner of the pasture. I had set up a uh, swarm trap, which was an old deep hive body. Had a lot of old uh, drawn comb in it. A lot of propolis and beeswax. And, uh, so I set it up on top of a fence post down at the corner, probably about five feet high. And um, I had thought that a swarm moved into it about a week ago, but when I got up there and started looking at it and pulling the frames out, they had already had, uh, they had capped brood in it and uh, lots of larvae. Ended up getting five frames of bees with larvae. I ended up setting it on top of the original trap hive and uh, hopefully that all the field bees coming in will smell the brood and the pheromones from the queen today and uh, take residence up in that new uh, the new hive sitting on top I'll go down there this evening about dark and I'll uh, when all the bees are settled down and they're in for the night and I'll take that nucleus hive down uh, and also I've been using this uh, swarm commander gel first time I ever used it But caught two swarms in swarm traps with it. So maybe it does work. So I'll put some more of that back in the uh, original trap hive tonight when I go down there. There's about four or five drops uh, down, like on the bottom board, uh, about center of the hive. And I usually wipe the top of it when I close it with my fingers and rub that on the front of the hive um, might not do any good but it might I don't know but I'm gonna keep using it and uh, very well could be that this is why those I've caught two swarms so far in my swarm trap uh, hey that's these that I would have lost while I was at work so I'm happy for it well I really appreciate y'all watching this video and if you like it please hit the like button if you uh, want to. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the YouTube channel. And uh, as this year progresses, we'll keep making videos. Thank y'all.